Greetings. This is the one you've known as Jesus the Christ. Very powerful practice is prayer. Pray for assistance in waking up and living in love. Declare your allegiance to goodness and love, and spiritual forces will come forward to support you in that. These are prayers that will always be answered. On the other hand, the ego's prayers for its desires to be met may or may not be answered, and having them be met may or may not be beneficial. Pray for things that are unquestionably beneficial. Pray for greater love, acceptance, compassion, strength, courage, growth, and the ability to forgive others and let go of the past. Pray to be of greater service to others and for help in fulfilling your life purpose. Pray for these things, and your prayers will always be answered. Those who are guiding humanity are waiting for you to ask for their help in awakening and living in love. Although you aren't completely in control of when and how you awaken to your divine nature, your intention and commitment are important factors in facilitating and hastening your awakening or slowing it down if you lack that intention and commitment. Spiritual forces honor whatever you intend and offer extra assistance only when you show them you're ready to receive it. One of the ways to demonstrate your readiness is to ask them for their help. The specific words you use are not important. What matters is what's in your heart. Spiritual forces respond to your sincere intention, your longing, and your actions, which signal your level of commitment. Praying will help you develop a relationship with God and strengthen your belief in guiding forces. This is important because it opens the door to further benefits from non-physical forces. They do exist, and they exist to help you. The more you realize this, the more you can know that God is good, that the intelligence behind life is good. I like to refer to God as the intelligence behind all life, or the life force within all life, because it helps you to understand that God doesn't exist as a separate entity. As children, most of you were taught that God created man in his own image, so you imagined a God who looks like you. However, what is meant by this is that human beings have God's divine qualities and are inherently good and of love. God is not at all like a human being. By the way, you are not actually human either. You are God playing at being a human being. Human beings are only one form that God takes on. God is an unimaginable force and intelligence, which is perhaps why human beings have needed to see God as something they can relate to. And that's fine. It's fine to talk to God as if God were a good parent, but please understand that this is not actually the case. The trouble with imagining that God is similar to a human being is that God may also be assumed to have the negative propensities of human beings, and nothing could be farther from the truth. For instance, God would never punish what God has created. That would be God punishing himself, herself. And what good could come of that? Punishment is a crude and cruel means of teaching, which imprisons, not elevates. The suffering you experience in life is not punishment for any so-called sins, but something you generate within yourselves by incorrect thinking, by egoic thinking. God is so good and loving that God has given you, himself, herself, a way out of suffering, and that is to see the truth about life. The truth is that the programming you've been given is faulty, and it is the source of your suffering, not anything about life itself. Life is beautiful, wonderful, and although challenging, a precious gift 
which your soul has chosen to experience for any number of reasons. The reasons in general are for your growth and evolution and for returning to love. The suffering of the egoic state of consciousness motivates you to discover how not to suffer, and the answer to that is love. So please, love God and develop a relationship with God and with the helping forces God has put in place for you. They are individuated enough for you to relate to and speak to. By all means, call upon them, and they will guide you on your way home. Thank you for being here. I am with you always.